Hey guys, what about Amy Obi here? Um, we're gonna take a tour around Royal Liverpool. Uh, it's the Masters Week this week, or sorry, not the Masters Week. It's the uh, Open Championship week, week this week, and they've brought out Royal Liverpool, which is where it's being played. So we're gonna take a take a tour around it, um, hoping for fa firm and fast, hoping for. I mean, I don't really care about tournament objects, but if they're gonna, I want to see yellow scoreboard. I want to see like what I'm gonna see on TV in a couple days. What else we got? Ooh. Now from one of the oldest of all cool music. Seaside clubs, EA Sports welcomes you to Royal Liverpool in our continuing coverage of the world of golf. Alongside Frank First hole. I'm Rich Lerner, and partner, you and I have called Let's a see. lot of rounds of golf through the years. I know there's always something that piques your interest. Pots, in love it. Day. Rich, every day brings you a chance, a chance to do something special. And when we get to sit in this perch, that's what we're right. for. And I don't want to see the, the head going down. I want to see that every single shot is a chance to do something special. That could be a chip. Maybe the Probably chip should have the wind up a bit, but oh well. Maybe a drive gets um, down the field. I can see the yellow scoreboard already. Special. Awesome. Carry that bunker. Well, you're gonna need a little luck on a day that, like that rolled a bit fortunate to get a good kick there to get the round underway second shot coming up let's check in for the first time with notavigay the third 119 to the hole pin is on the front left part of the green ah uh, it's not hit yeah it's fine and safely the spot bunkers look great it's the main thing but they've got the open really don't Leave yourself like a knee knocker, like a four or five. Ah, uh, the open signage around, just cool. Pretty much straight, isn't it? Yep. Ah, uh, that is lofty right there. A beautiful putt, and the result is a birdie. The second at 453 yards. This is a tough hole. Precision is a must off the tee because the landing area mm. is a small one and features three very penal bunkers. The green is also well protected with three more bunkers and the putting surface. Is it's also cool to, to play it on here to get a kind of re, you know familiar refamiliarize myself with the course because it's been what eight or nine years since they've played here. I think Rory won here, um, and it's what 2006 or something was Tiger. So it's been a while. And this round starting off strong after the birdie at the first. This in the fairway at number two. Boy, is that thing just rolling forever? Thing rolled 65 yards. Seems a bit much. No, no, wrong way. No, we'll go. Oh my goodness. Uh... Finesse wedge in there. Or sandwich, I guess. This one has a chance to be close. It was a good shot coming in here. I know it's a little long, but still inside that 10 foot circle is always good and even money, really, to make good. Oh, ho. It's going to miss right. Oh, a miss. Opportunity goes by the wayside. We feel shame. Disappointment there. Yeah, wave to the crowd, be nice. You're part English, son, so. To start this front side is the 426 yard third hole. Hot bunkers aren't the problem here as they were the first two. There aren't any. Thick rough is a tee shot that takes the dog like too sharply and leave one with a very. Like one of the, well, I mean, in the UK, one of the best things about the open is it's on the entire day. Uh, here because it starts so early because of the time difference, but it's still on till, like from when you wake up till like I don't know, 
four o'clock. Uh, this is with the way the ball's rolling. This is gonna have to be cut, isn't it? Okay, I yeah, they've gone a little far with the roll. I think that's that's a bit much. The ball just it will not stop at all ever. Good news is the rough isn't really a penalty in this game, so we just stop it on a dime from the rough. From the heavy stuff to here, now this for birdie. Oh, good birdie. That's another thing. I mean, if the fairways are that firm, he gets it to two under par. The last of the consecutive par fours to grace this front side is this one, the 367 yard fourth. It's the shortest of the four by a considerable margin. Mm. Most golfers should be able to cover the fairway bunkers. Mm -hmm. be left with just the way the ball's rolling, I'm thinking about the green. Um, but with the way that the ball's rolling on the fairways and how firm it is, should we be throwing darts into the greens? Like, they wouldn't be that much softer, would they? Oh, ran through the right. Hmm. Like, yeah, it's <laughs> just... <laughs> 50 60 yards of roll every time. So you see where this wound up? Um, Just a short pitch for a second. All right, let's spin one in here because it'll be fun. Yeah, that, I mean, that, that reacted more like I would expect it to. You put yourself in that good of a position in the fairway just short. If that thing had screamed to a halt, I would have had problems with that. Now to the first of Royal Liverpool's three par five. It is the dog leg left. 520? Yard fifth hole. That? Two shots that can navigate the course to the left and the pot bunkers to the right should open up this green to be reachable in two. By most accounts, this is the best birdie opportunity on this opening nine. Mm, I guess so. Uh, the wind is down. I don't change like so when I do um, 2k playthroughs, I don't change The uh, I just I go by default and so I'm doing the same thing here. The wind should be up to make this a bit more realistic, but It is quite a dog leg here, isn't it? Mm, it's not turning too much. Oh dear In the rough we go we only have two eight left. With that because it lands in the rough and it appears to be fairly thick over there. Yeah, eh, we'll still get this there, I think. Um, heads up in the crowd. Oh dear, that looks thick in there. I can't spin out of here. That makes sense. Um. Okay, we're gonna have to pitch it. That'll work. It, the rough, the rough isn't penalizing enough. His right for birdie. <laughs> that overplayed the crap out of that. Oh, Wayne. All right. Nearly a birdie, but far is all he'll have to show for it. I think the other thing I'm part three of the round is here at the 201 yard sixth. Two pot bunkers left and one right of the green. 
are to be avoided okay. at all. I think the other thing I don't really like is that wedges will just stop no matter where you're hitting it from. And then any line, a line, an iron with any kind of length at all is just going to go forever. Like, that's reasonable. It's a six iron. But, like, three or four iron? Like, it's, it's just not stopping ever. From my vantage point, I don't see a whole lot of break. He should have a good run at this one. Oh, maybe just a little bit of a turn. But that will somehow stay right on the edge. And the reason I'm mentioning that is it does affect the ability, like, the way the course plays, which affects the course. The seventh now at 481 yards of par four. Hot bunkers left and right are definitely in playoff fatigue. Even if you end up in the fairway, hmm. the second shot is a demanding one, partially blind over a large tract of course. Yeah. Potentially two pot bunkers left. Interesting how that's there. How far is this one going to go after it hits the ground? Hmm, 60 yards. Second shot up coming with that pin tucked in the front left. Hold on. This is going to spin like mad, isn't it? Very, very cool look, though. Oh, actually, it might be good. Oh, that's not too bad. Good shot. Uh, inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really. Outside chance for Bertie. Hmm. That's a good stroke. Just a Maybe I should try underplaying a, a putt or two. Because I'm missing high and everything. But they'll have to be content with a par. No. On to the eighth, a par four at 436 yards. No, I won't have to be content with anything. Familiar refrain: Avoid the pot bunkers and the tall gorse. Doing so with your drive should leave a short iron in to a green protected by one bunker left and two to the right. I think the rough not being. Oh, hang on. That's a cool look there too. Um, I think the rough not really being that much of a penalty really hurts this course too. It makes this gameplay too easily. You don't really have to be in the fairway. Uh, the pot bunkers might be a different story. We might figure out, we might find out here. Mm. Yeah. Oh no, we're gonna roll around the lip and end up there. Mm. But I mean. It'll take some effort from this buried lot, but a chance now to still reach this green in two. It's not really that big of a problem. Like it's going farther than it's supposed to. Like I guess we're just catching flyers all the time. I don't mind that. I don't mind, but it's it's constant, right? Like that's the issue. Didn't hit it. Um, yeah, the issue I've got with it is that it's just always going forever. Like if you're in that rough, it should, you should have a hard time getting out of there sometimes. It should come up short and roll like crazy. Like it, I don't want randomness necessarily, but. But somehow he works out a par. The ninth hole at 218 yards of par three. Bunkers front left and right protect a fairly narrow green that features more than its share of pumps and hollows. Yeah, they, they need something to do with the rough. Make it a penalty. Oh, good God. That thing went left. See ya. But they have randomness in the swing as well. I don't know. Yeah.
I didn't hit it. We're gonna come back in here. All right, let's putt this. That works okay. Yeah, that'll come up just a bit short, but I'll tell you what, from off the green, that's pretty well judged. So the ability to put it up that so, slope like that is cool because it's probably what you do in real life. The back nine here at Royal Liverpool kicks off with a long one at 507 yards. It's a par four. The landing area is a tough one to navigate. It's narrow, it has mounds, and it has thick rough left and right. Ooh, that bunker front right's rough. The bunker front and right is incredibly deep mm -hmm. and must be avoided at all costs. We're going to go through the fairway here. Mm, a little too much roll on the back end hmm. there, and this is going to wind up diving into the heavy stuff. Now this, this lie sucks. Mm, I'm just going to try and slash this out and see what happens. Coming up way short. Okay, so good work there to get this. So okay, bad lie there. I like that. And really, this is not a bad spot to be. Just a little short of the green. Certainly not out of the question to get away with a par. Uh, if you hit it like that, it is. Or two thirds of the way there. Just a little bit more effort on that one. Would have been close. Instead, just that awkward distance. Missed another one high. Oh, boy, that was good for a long time, didn't it? That stuck by right at the end. So the course itself looks fantastic. I think it's. I mean, they're lidars too. I think. from minus three down to minus one. The 11th runs along the beach to the left, and this is a tough driving hole. A par four at 392 yards. The short length will likely entice most to air it out. But yeah. the more prudent play might be no. three wood or an iron. No. Because no. The small landing we will be hammering this. Further down the fairway you travel. Well, we're in the green sign bunker. And that ball gonna roll out a little too Thing much rolled too 70 yards. Carries it all the way into the bunker. This looks fantastic. Not the hardest bunker shot you're ever gonna have, but. Okay, a good out, and that's what will remain for birdie. Oh yeah, that's right. My drive went there. <laughs> Oops. The twelfth at four hundred forty-nine yards is a dog like left par four. Those that try to chew off too much of that dog like could find themselves in trouble if they're unable to carry the course. Hmm. The approach will be to an elevated green. That's not going to be able to keep it on the uh, fairway. From back to front. Uh, no. Brawling in here. No, that's through the fairway. That's in the bunker. And that one a little wayward. It bounds off the. Okay. No. 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 That should not have happened there. That ball. There's no way that ball rolls up the face of the bunker and rolls out. Um. Yeah. Yeah. You've kind of scored an own goal on that one.
It balls that drives in the bunker. There's no way it rolls through it. All in all, that's a tremendous shot just to get the ball on the green from there. Hey, we made a putt though. So just things like that, it, it ruins the bunker. Push that score to three under for the round. The 13th is a par three of 194 yards. It yields another panoramic look at Kilbury Island and the estuary beyond. But this could be a tricky little hole. Mm -hmm. Shots that land in that front I believe it. bunker rarely lead to a par. I imagine that, I mean, a Lynx style is going to be the hardest to pull off. But between the never-ending rolls on the fairways and then the way the bunkers are playing, I can get, I mean, the fairway I can get by. The fairway I can get past that. The ball rolling out of the bunker like that, no. Conversion on putts like this, even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself with very makeable opportunities. Got it there, but not quite on target. Birdie butt far is all he'll have to show for it. The 14th is a dog leg left, par four at 454 yards. Ideally, your drive Ooh, it's a dog leg, all right. As close to the dog leg as possible, but middle of the fairway is just fine if it can avoid any of the four pot bunkers in the landing zone. The green, thankfully, is bunker free, but it does fall off somewhat sharply to the right. I'm going to hit three with because I think the ball is going to go forever. I imagine we'll see this in the in the tournament too. You won't see driver a huge amount of the time because the ball is going to roll so much, assuming it's dry over there. there to Another wonderful tee shot. Yeah, that goes 290. This is, the, I mean, this is the course where Tiger hit driver once the whole tournament. Scoring opportunity with his second shot here. So I think that's the thing. You just maybe don't hit driver quite so much. Uh, that's an excellent strike. Which then I can get, I can, I, yeah, I can handle the fairways being so fast. Because if it's dry, they would be. Is it going to get there? No. Nope. Yeah, he would have liked that to fall, but he needed to gun it just a little more. Disappointment there. And will brush it in, and that'll be just a par. The 15th is the longest hole. 620. Of course, checking it at a full 620 yards. The fairway is fairly generous by Royal Liverpool standards, though. It does feature bunkers left and right. The issues tend to develop on the second shot, where you'll need to commit one way or the other to going for it or laying up. If we have any chance at all, we're going for it. Just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. It hit into an upslope there, so it didn't quite run as much. That was good. So in the fairway, but a pretty good number to carry here for a second to the par five. Yeah, we'll be fine. Power approach? I don't think I need a power boat. I think just a solid three wood gets it there. It actually gets it through. Oh goodness, that is going forever. That is not the spot to be. No. Okay. 
And for a short little shot, the heavy rough certainly makes things more difficult because the rough gets between the club face and the ball. But not bad, all things considered. Oh, yes. Well done. It's birdie. The move to four under now. I mean, again, that thing, it's like it landed on a sprinkler head. The second shot. With the par 4 16th at 461 yards. Most players should be able to move their tee shots beyond the three fairway bunkers, but more await up toward the green, five of them in total. I thought I turned the swing. Just keeps right oh. along. Another good tee shot right there. The graph thing. I'll oh, turn it off. Perfect spot to play this second. Middle of the fairway. Oh, this could be good. It does, I mean, the game, it's, it is a little brain dead playing it. Like you just kind of hit it. You don't have to think too much. Around the greens, you really do. So, if they could bounce that, that'd be good too. Oh, I remember this. Wow. This is everything you want in a classic par three, and a lot that you don't, <laughs> including steep runoffs, deep bunkers, and a tricky green to putt on. Yeah, that bunker there, short left, is no good. A very sensible play there, right in the middle of the green. Mm. I did push it. Another birdie. And he seemingly had no problem with his reads all round long, so this shouldn't be too difficult. Didn't hit it. No. Alright. And then we're going to 18. I remember being a par 5. Big dog leg right. This is a big time test the closing hole internal lb a demanding par I think at 609 yards yeah two deep bunkers need to be avoided off the tee then the fun look at this a second shot needs to navigate a tough dog leg to the right before it emerges in very cool how they've got the around the green a green with no fewer than five deep pot bunkers in play Right, in the fairway. Yeah, the crowd, where the crowd is, is OB, if I remember this hole, right? So, don't want to go there. Let's play to the middle. Or not. That one left. That's what he wanted to do after the tee shot puts himself in really good position here on the par five. Uh, Rich, I'm not sure you understand how golf is played. They did not want to hit it over there. That's fine. Yeah, I love I love this amphitheater here. Very realistic, like what they would have or what they will have. Yeah, that's good cut there. Okay. It's a birdie at 18. And that will be a six under 65. Pretty cool. Very well done. Frank, they gave us a great show today. You know, they certainly did. Course played well. You got what you deserved out there. Some Thanks. outstanding performances. And for our entire team, I'm Rich Lerner, saying so long for now. See you, Rich. All right, there you go. Royal Liverpool. Um, Looks fantastic. It's a great... I mean, I think what the coolest thing about it is you play this. You can play it a couple times. 
and then Thursday when the open start, you know what you're looking for. It's it's a really cool way of kind of getting ready to see what's going to happen um, in the actual tournament. They've done such a great job of recreating it. I think there's a couple of gameplay issues that have been exposed by this. Um, that ball rolling through the bunker. It's a pot bunker. There's no way it rolls through a pot bunker. Um, is one of them. Um, and then just the discrepancy between like you can throw darts with anything like 9-iron or lower. Anything kind of 5-iron, 4-iron or higher, it's not stopping ever. And so... I, and you know what? It might be that there's skills that I don't have unlocked because I haven't played this enough. In which case, okay, fine. But I, it, something there, and then with the rough not really being much of a hazard either, it really kind of hurts. So the the ball rolling through a, a, a pot bunker, and then ending up in rough, that's not really any issue at all. Yeah, they need to clean that up a bit. So I think ultimately you take the graphics of this game. You take the swing mechanics of 2k you take the way the ball reacts like the fact that there's no velcro fringe in this game you take some of the physics from 2k you put it all together you have a fantastic and then you have um the course designer and the societies and everything and tg tours and that add that all together you've got the most amazing golf game ever my hope is that the two companies will work towards both improving their games and where the other game is stronger and they'll get closer um although i do kind of want one to be more arcadey one to be more sim so i don't know um anyways hope you enjoyed it make sure to hit like let me know you like what you're seeing hit subscribe tell me you want to see more leave a comment let me know what you think of this um i don't know that i'll have many playthroughs for uh ea sports coming out in a while because there's no more majors this year so i don't know what other course they would release but if they do we'll, we'll play it uh, and if there's anything else you want to see, let me know. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.